Did you know that you can use cloud skills from right within something like NADN? Most people don't know it's possible, and those who do know it's possible might look at the documentation and decide it's way too complicated. But once you put all the different puzzle pieces together, which I've done for you in this video, it's actually pretty straightforward. So I'm going to walk you through how to connect cloud skills to NADN, how to create those skills via API, even if you don't know how to code. Most importantly, I'll show you a really cool hack that only recently became possible using something like Cloud AI. And if you stick around till the end, I'll give you a free template that you can use so you can crank out doc files, PDF files, or even PowerPoint files in NADN using Cloud Skills right after watching this video. So if that sounds interesting to you, then let's dive in. All right, so before I walk you through the nitty gritty of how to set this up and use this API, I'm going to show you that one, it actually works, and two, how it can work in NADN. So if we take a look at the canvas here, you'll see I have the ability to get one skill, basically see a skill in the API. If there's a specific one, get multiple skills, create a PowerPoint file, create a PDF file, create a docx file, and create an Excel file. And all of them are using the exact same nodes, just different permutations of one, sending that API request to the Anthropic API. And the second thing is how we download the file that we get back from the payload. So if we run this first workflow here and click on execute workflow, this will run and instantaneously, if we zoom in to the result, we get the name of the particular skill. And this is the skill ID that we have via the API. And this is basically what we're going to try and build together when we send a request via API to create a brand new skill. It should come back if it's successful with an ID that we can then use in whatever workflow we want. In terms of this kind of request itself, you have a specific URL, you have an API key you have to enter. And then one really important thing, at least for this stage, is entering this header that's called anthropic-beta and then the section that says skills 2025 2 Now again, I'm gonna give you this whole template for free in the second link in the description below. So if this looks annoying to set up, I've done all the annoying parts for you. So that's how we run one skill. How do we get all the skills we have via API? Well, if we click on here and we bring this down and run this workflow and we open this payload up, you'll see at the right hand side here, we have different skills like the humanized copywriter. We have the skills creator API. If we keep scrolling, we still have that consulting proposal generator that we saw in the first step. And then we have a few others that come out of the box via the API, which are their PowerPoint file, Excel file, and PDF file makers, among things like docx files as well. Now that's fun and all, but let's actually see some files being created. So let's disconnect this one, bring this over here, and then click on execute workflow. And what this will do is it will take a prompt that I'll show you shortly, and a bit of a body in JSON, send it to the Anthropic API, use the skill of creating a PowerPoint file. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract all the components and elements we get back from the API and just download the file using the file ID that comes back in the payload. And if those words sound like gibberish to you, then as soon as this finishes running, I'll walk you through basically how it's structured step by step. And after around 10 minutes, we finally have a file here. So if we click on the download file section of the workflow and we click on download file right here, you'll see we get a PowerPoint file. And if we open up this PowerPoint file, it is really well formatted for something generated via API, looks very similar to what you'd get on the front end, but it does come with a catch. Now, it's very interesting. This is a deck about prompt engineering, and it is well put together. Even the formatting is solid, very competitive with something like Gamma, for example. Now, the one catch we have here is if we go to the schema tab and click on the search button and then write tokens and zoom in, this is shocking in terms of token usage. It's around 1.1 million tokens, input tokens needed, and 13,000 output tokens. Now, depending on the model you use, this might be eye-wateringly expensive. Now, the model we're using right here is the newest version of 4.5 Haiku, which is much cheaper, but still at scale, this wouldn't be that cheap to run. Now, in terms of how this works, if we click on the request itself, and we zoom in just a tad right here, you'll see that we have the URL, the API key, like we did before, the version, the 
actual value here that says code execution 2025 825 and then skills 2025 10 2. So this is the same as the first couple versions we saw, but this is the addition here. This code execution allows it to run all the Python it needs to create the actual file itself like you would on the front end on Claude.ai. Now in terms of the JSON we have to send over, if we zoom in, you'll see that I'm using the Claude Haiku 4.5 model. And then we have a system prompt. And the system prompt for this one is, your job is to create a stunning professional PowerPoint presentation. Follow the instructions precisely. You're only allowed to create one PowerPoint file. Now, the reason why I specify this is it has a tendency via API to crank out two, three, sometimes four files at once. So if you thought a million input tokens and 13,000 output tokens was a lot, just imagine having four of them. That could be three, four million tokens and you'll be bankrupt in no time. Now, in terms of the core body elements, we also have the skill ID right here. The ID is PPTX, and this comes out of the box from their API. You'll notice that all the other skills as well have XLSX, DOCX, and that's how they're denoted in the API itself. And this is the user prompt that I sent over. I just said, create a five slide professional presentation on prompt engineering. And then I used AI to help me specify exactly what I want slide by slide. Now, theoretically, you could have this become a dynamic variable, especially if you hook this up to an AI agent where you tell it, go and create a whole presentation based on this idea or this concept. And it should be able to basically go through the instructions and come up with its own version of its content. And at the very end of the request, we just have to specify to use the tools. And in this case, the tools are code execution, like we saw before, and the name code execution. This is really important. Otherwise, this won't work at all. Now in this next section, to get the file ID, all we're doing here, and we do this in every single one of the steps, so I'll only show this one time, is we basically just grab all the input data that comes out of this workflow. So that we get something tidy that looks like this, where we can navigate and look for things like the file ID, which honestly can be really annoying to look for. One little cheat code is to go on schema again and put file underscore ID, and then this ID right here is the exact file that we want to retrieve and extract from the API. So in the last step, all we're doing to download the file is if you see this URL right here, we just have this variable. This variable is that URL that I just showed you before, that file ID, and you can reference it from the actual JSON itself. You just have to go all the way to the bottom. It can be pretty annoying to look for it. And then do right here, search, and then file. And then as you go down, you should see it highlighted and you can see right there, we have this file ID. So all I did was just physically drag and drop this into this payload. And once you do that, you should be able to download it and access this download file right away. Now PowerPoint takes the longest and takes the most amount of tokens. If we separate this now and go to create a PDF, exact same type of structure, the payload is ever so slightly nuanced. So I'll show you what that looks like, but I'll have this run and I'll show you the result. And this took less than a minute to run. And all we have to do, like we did before, is go click on download. Once we click on download, we'll get a file that looks like this. And you can customize this to your heart's content out of the box and give it too much to work with. If we go to the originating request itself, it looks almost identical to what we sent before. And then in this case, I just said your job is to create a professional PDF document, follow the instructions, and again, create one PDF only. And then this is what I specified to add in the PDF itself. And for the last two files, the docx works the exact same way as the PDF. So it'll come out looking like this. And finally, for the Excel file, which I find to be super interesting, when you download the file right here and you open this up, you'll see it's a clear, clean, and organized Excel file. And then you can specify whatever numbers you want. And you can imagine all the possibilities you can use with this, especially if you use AnyDen for any form of financial or data analysis. So now that we know that this works, let's walk through how it works. So combining both in terms of creating the skill, you have a few different options. You can go to Claude Console, which is different from Claude AI. I'll show you how to navigate there. And one thing in the UI they offer is the ability to import a skill directly the same way you would in the other video I recorded on using Claude AI to just import those skills as zip files. Now, one thing I personally encountered, and I'll test it again today, is that the import doesn't work even if the zip file is perfect. So I tried five, 10 different ways to import the same skills file and it wouldn't work. So I had to resort to the code method using create skill via the API itself. And I figured out a way that a lot of you who don't know how to code or don't know what Postman is or don't even want to use Postman can create your own skills via API as well. 
Now, naturally, you can use Claude code, give it all the documentation you want and have it go from there. This is probably my recommended course of action if you're willing to jump into a terminal, which I highly recommend. Or we can go through the front end route where I basically created my own skill of how to create skills in the API, which again is very meta. It's skillception, if you will. But you don't even need to use the skill per se. You can just import all the documentation that Claude needs to learn. And because Claude can do code execution now within the browser itself, you don't need something like a Postman or a Claude code to physically create the skill and put it into your Anthropic account. So if you navigate to platform.claude.com slash workspace default and skills, you just have to go to platform.claude.com and just find the skills tab right here. Theoretically, you should be able to drag and drop a zip skill. Now, theoretically, this should be super straightforward. I just take this file with my skills.md file, drag and drop it. It looks like it's gonna work, but when I click on continue, for whatever reason, it does not import it. And I tried multiple ways to make this work, and no matter what I tried personally, it wouldn't work. So I resorted to option and plan B, where I went to this page, which is the docs.clo.com slash API slash skills slash create skill, and then you can do this copy page. So if you don't want to learn this yourself and you don't want to read it yourself, you can copy the page and feed it to something like Claude. So I just pasted that documentation into Claude AI and I'm going to say the following. Can you go and learn this brand new API that you're not aware of? It's a Claude skill API. I want to be able to create skills and submit it and push it to this API. We just need a few different components. I'm going to give you a dummy API key. I'm actually going to delete this API key after the session. So you don't have to lecture me about security because I just want to test and demo this to show that it's possible for you to create the skill for me. Now, I don't want to tell you what the skill is. Come up with a skill that you think would be useful to import and let's set this up. So you write a series of functions that can execute and push the skill to my API. Now, chances are they might come back and say, no, I am a security warden. I won't do this. But in the event that it doesn't resist, we'll just create a key. I'm going to call this demo and I will delete this after recording. I will copy this key and we'll go back into Claude. Here's my dummy demo API key. I notice that sometimes when I play things down, it lets me run through and this should start to go through the documentation, go through my request and put together a script on its own that it can technically go from the instruction to writing the skill to sending the skill via API on my behalf. So all I have to do is just get the skill ID. Now, so far it's created this Python file, understanding how to create and submit the skill to the API itself. And now in its own terminal that is running right here, it is putting together the skill submission script and it's creating a skill around my consulting work at prompt advisors. So it's basically going through probably our threads and our memory in the conversations we've had to pull out something that might be a useful thing to submit to the API. And after 10 minutes, it finally put together the skill on its own. We have the skill ID right here. It walks through exactly what it built, how it works. And the beautiful thing is, especially when it creates files or Python files associated with this skill, if you otherwise had to do this via API, it's a bit of a pain in the neck if you don't know what you're doing. So it takes care of all of this. And then it even tells you at the very bottom here, all the file outputs, the skill, the skill.md, the skill.json. Um, it's basically created a competitive intelligence analyzer. And if we go through, you'll notice on the left hand side, every single time it ran into an issue, instead of you having to figure it out on your own or using an end and workflow to create the skill and having to upload the file and deal with that there, it basically realizes what's happening. It sees its own issues and it went through all the trial and error until it finally worked. So if we go back into our Claude console and we go back into skills, you'll see right here, we have a brand new skill and then two ways you can get the ID. One, Claude just gave it to you or number two, you can just open it up and this is the ID right here. So you can just click on once it will copy it to your clipboard and you can paste this back into any then or wherever you want to use it. An extra little hack here is if you add memory to Claude. So in this case, it knows that I like to use Claude skills with any then. So already created an HTTP request that I can just copy paste and import directly into any then. So you could do the exact same thing. You could have it created in a code block so you can copy paste it and go from there. Now, one quick thing as a prerequisite to make this work, to make this whole command line interface work on Claude AI, you have to make sure that under capabilities, you toggle on code execution and file creation. 
Otherwise, this whole thing won't work at all. You'll notice you run into a roadblock right away. Now, assuming you've made it this far, I'll show you one more really cool hack that I put together. And this is something that you can do and figure out on your own as well. So I created a skill of my own called Skill Creator API. So instead of me feeding the documentation, feeding that prompt, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't work. So I would basically try to create a version that works consistently. So now I have this skill that I created and upload it to my Cloud AI. And I just say, use Skill Creator API to create a new skill that will help create humanized copy. So now I can give a very lazy, vague prompt, which is my favorite thing to do. And now it goes through the entire process. And you'll notice it iterates way less than the first time because it knows the drill. It knows exactly how to navigate the API. So I can really crank out skills at scale and use them via API really quickly. So if you combine what I showed you here along with the other videos, then you could probably reverse engineer this yourself. And with that, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna give you the workflow that I showed you earlier in the video in EditN in the second link in the description below. But if you want access to this skill.md file that you can import into Cloud AI along with a series of other cheat codes, not just for Cloud, but pretty much anything under the AI sun, check out the first link in the description below, and maybe I'll see you in my early AI adopters community. I'll see you in the next one.